there. Taking a live look outside. That right now, 518 in the 90s right now, but not as high in the 90s as we were yesterday. We have Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown here mm. with us. Mm. Ashley, you said it was going to be a hot one this week, and it has Toasty. been just that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yesterday, 99, and yeah. it's easy to cool down from there, right. right? Any day below 99 is a good one at this point. Uh, today, 94 is official high temperature coming in. Felt like 99 at times, yeah. but we did not have triple digit heat index for Indy today. So Ooh, that's wow. good news. Good news. Good news. Hot and humid and a few showers and thunderstorms here. So um, showing 92 here, but we officially hit 99 today, not 83 for South Bend. Why so much cooler? Rain. Rain cooled air for areas to the north. You added quite a bit to the rainfall totals there. Upper 90s for the southern tip of the state. And of course, feeling much warmer here. Now, as we look at this forecast for you today, I know I'm saying that it was some improvement and it was because some locations got in on rain. You got to remember that we are abnormally dry. Drop monitor comes out for us tomorrow with an update. And I think northern portions of the state and some south uh, will actually be removed from the drought monitor while central Indiana, including Indianapolis, we're going to stay right there in it because we're still lacking rainfall. We really need it. 91 for us right now. So still experiencing heat and humidity. 91 for you right now for you in Columbus as well. 86 and Muncie. These numbers are warm. When you factor in the humidity, they feel warmer. That's the story, right? It's summer. We're just kind of sticking with this heat and humidity for now. But I can promise you this. Relief is on the way. And how we get the relief is getting a little rain. We could use it. Just like yesterday and the day before when we were looking for showers, I promise you that the shower chances would be isolated. This is not a widespread event, so it's hard to get rain in the areas that actually need it. Got some rain in Muncie today. That system rolled through. A few showers north of Kokomo dry for areas south for now. The only shower that we have is a system that's sitting around the Muncie area. That's a pretty good shower. A spot sprinkled just north of Kokomo there. This system moving across the state line and out of the area. So Indianapolis Indians game tonight. You're looking at OK. Upper 80s, warm and muggy. Stay hydrated. Wear lightweight clothing, but no advisories for us here downtown. This model indicating there's a chance of seeing some showers and storms tonight. That system has not developed just yet. I think it develops later tonight and we'll see showers and thunderstorms roll through. I'm not expecting severe weather from the system. I'm expecting some stronger storms tomorrow. Once again, south of Interstate 70 will add to rainfall totals there. Another wave moves through for us tomorrow, tracking isolated showers and thunderstorms with an isolated threat for strong and severe storms, mainly for areas along and south of Interstate 70. So after watching storms roll over the area north of Interstate 70 for the last several days. Now we focus our attention to south of Interstate 70. And if you're wondering, when will we get some rain in central Indiana? When will we help my brown grass? Well, I think by Friday, we're going to see a better chance of seeing more widespread rain. But these rain chances are so hit and miss. When we're under a drought, when the atmosphere is just dry, it's hard to get that rain to become widespread. We're going to bring more heat for you tomorrow. 90 degree heat back in the forecast. And yes, we're still bringing humidity, but relief is on the way. This weekend, we bring you relief by way of a cooling trend. Peter and Brothers, the cooling forecast. Numbers dropping off into the weekend. We'll see low to mid 80s, mostly sunny skies, low humidity and dry air through the weekend. By Monday, we bring back heat, humidity and see showers and storms. That trend will not last long as relief will come our way once again by the end of next week.